Hey, what up decisive marketers today's video is going to be a little stressful for me because uh, I'm going to be talking about a funnel builder and when it comes to funnel builder I am a little stressed because there's so many um, components in it there is your landing page there is your sales page there is your checkout page there is your thank you page your upsell pages downsell pages right and you've got um, you know the products you got to create you've got your analytics you got your discounts you've got your integrations and there's just so much to talk about and um, um, I I am uh, glad that I am able to uh, test this out because um, I have been really amazed by the team behind um, like funnels because they have created um, Scalify which you know in my opinion it is possibly one of the uh, uh, one of the best um, I would say Facebook ads uh, management tool and I am glad that uh, because with the kind of credibility that um, the the Skillify team has and they have now created this tool called Light Funnels which we are going to be talking about today uh, I am pretty confident that uh, they are going to you know make this a amazing tool now before I dive into Light Funnels be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we go um, here we are in Light Funnels um, I am a little chilly right now right because uh, you know we could talk about Light Funnels and I am always impressed by the the, the CEO and uh, co-founder here yes here because um, if you look at his video production it is really high quality and he explains everything really well and he is an amazing marketer uh, himself as well uh, you know and that's why he's able to create a tool that is suitable for um, anyone who wants to sell something uh, through a funnel right so uh, first things first, I've always uh, jump into the settings you know get uh, you know get everything up correctly so uh, okay so you can uh, of course you got a default template we'll come to that later we've got your members um, we've got your tracking so you can add all these uh, information in here so that you save a lot of time when it comes to setting up your funnel later on uh, for Google Analytics and Facebook pixel and you can set up um, all your legal pages here so you got your refund policy you got privacy policy you got your terms of service um, and of course they support uh, you know custom HTML so this is great because you can then embed uh, for example your iBender uh, you know policy pages you can add them into uh, light funnels as well and have them dynamically shown right and then we've got your payment gateways not right now they support um, okay so the first thing is that they have a currency conversion so that means if you set like your account currency as uh, for example I have set it as Singapore dollars that means that I am only um, I'm only uh, you know accepting payment in Singapore dollars but I could do um, currency conversion so if I want to, I can switch to the visitor's local currency and then I can choose what kind of currency I want to accept. So for example, maybe I want to accept uh, US dollars and Singapore dollars, I can do so as well. Uh, I think this is a brilliant uh, feature that is built into uh, Light Funnels because I think that a lot of uh, funnel builders just don't have this particular feature at all right being able to pay in the local currency because it really helps with the conversion rate right because uh, and that's why I create uh, for my own e-commerce businesses I always create localized stores and collect money in the local currency because this that just uh, you know skyrockets my uh, conversion rates right so um, any uh and then of course the next one would be uh you know there is this option where is uh you know automatically add miss currency of the visitors con cu uh, country so that means you're automatically adding currency in here or you can just turn on use all currencies right so you'll be accepting payment from all kind of currencies um that means 
uh, in let's say your PayPal account, you're going to be seeing uh, a ton of different currencies coming in, and you got to convert them. So there is a plus and a, a minus right here is that you know you're going to lose a little bit on the conversion rate, uh, com uh the forex conversion rate. Uh, whereas um if you are you know just accepting in your own currency you're just going to get that final amount right so you've got stripe here which i've already set up right you got paypal as well um personally i don't use paypal anymore because you know paypal is such a pain to deal with right and then we've got uh cash on delivery and they've got razor pay that's coming right so those of you who are you know serving indian customers and uh you know you're you go you are going to be very glad that you know razor pay is coming soon as well so they've got emails and um, sms's as well right so you can send um, emails uh, you know uh, you can set that up in here right uh, and this is you know the uh, email that you will be sending out okay Okay, and you can also send uh, automated uh, SMSs right here. And of course, we've got webhooks. So with webhooks, you can connect them with uh, Zapier, um, Integral Mat, Pebbly Connect, and connect it with um, any SMS uh, tools you have out there or any um, email marketing tools uh, that you have. And you can send out your abandoned card you know, abandon uh, card recovery, SMSs and emails to those uh, mediums as well. Okay, uh, let me just, you know, quickly step aside and jump into the apps right here. Um, so they don't, uh, they only have currently a MailChimp direct uh, native integration. Okay, so uh, this, so if you are using MailChimp, then uh, you can just automatically add them into your MailChimp list for card abandonments okay right so uh, and that's your email and SMSs and then you've got web hooks okay we've covered that as well and uh, for the web hooks uh, these are the events right here which is quite uh, extensive uh, you know especially for a brand new uh, you know SaaS product that's on the market uh, they've got new order event new payment new order item new contact form new sign up uh, contact updated new checkout and update checkout right so you can send all this uh, you know web hooks okay and then uh, you've got your domain so you can set up custom domains for your um like funnels account as well so i have not uh, done so but uh you know you can set this up very simply um just by going into you know your dns uh, settings you know and point your c name to this uh value right here which is shop dot uh like my light funnels dot com okay right and then uh you should have your c name set up okay and digital product file so if you want to upload any uh, digital products so if you're going to be selling digital products for example a pdf a video uh, an audio um, a powerpoint slides whatever it is you can uh, have them in here right so that you can uh, in your thank you page then you know people are able to download the uh, digital product that you sell right okay so um, let's jump back into integrations right here so one thing really cool about light funnels is that they have already integrated uh heat map uh and uh sessions recording okay so you can actually um, enable it right here right so and then you'll be able to see any recordings that you have okay it's uh it's actually natively uh, available within like funnels itself right and they also have zapier integration which is uh you know already uh in there and then uh mailchimp we've talked about it we've got uh shopify and woocommerce and i'm going to show you some of uh this uh integrations that they have right here um let me see okay so uh so zapier is currently i think uh private so you got to uh um enable it uh uh individually right so for shopify this are the events that uh is being sent 
to Shopify and I'm going to show you shortly which is the funnel data that means uh, which is which is your you know new new lead uh, contact right all those uh, information and it's also able to s receive order data as well so that means orders that comes through like funnels it is then being uh, you know uh, reflected into Shopify it will create an order in Shopify and the same thing uh, these are the events for WooCommerce as well so one of the benefit is of using light funnels I would say is that you know if you make use of Shopify uh, and then you have maybe you have the basic plan or something like that you would end up paying um, you know the kind of fees that Shopify charges uh, you right whereas if you make use of light funnels uh you know light funnels doesn't charge any fees unless you make use of razor pay where they charge two percent okay and uh uh with light funnels uh so you, you you are able to just pay the payment gateway fees and skip any um, additional fees to shopify right so something to take note of uh, which is the benefit of making use of light funnels because light funnels is a standalone uh, tool right which has nothing to do with Shopify at all okay so we're gonna jump in uh, this is the home page again this will give you a dashboard of everything where which is your top selling funnels your top selling products your buying countries your top traffic sources and you know your leads your sales your total number of visits okay and uh, so firstly you want to imp create a product so creating a product is uh, really easy here so I have created one right here right garlic kit dot uh, for uh, Nintendo switch so uh, so you can put in the title description these are all pretty much standard and they got SKU as well uh, so the product type currently has a uh, physical product and digital product right uh, so they don't have subscription product right so you can uh, do subscription product and uh, you can do uh, digital um, subscription as well right so physical and uh, digital subscription right to automatically create uh, new orders again when when your new physical product uh, subscription you know is built again right then you have another order created so they can ship out the order right so that's something that light funnels does not have and light funnels um, um, it doesn't seem like they have split payment as well so at the moment it's just a uh, one-time payment kind of uh, uh, option for funnels right and then you can set the product price and the um, you know the list price I would say they call it compare at price I call it the list price and you can put a you know special offer which is this is kind of how it looks like okay so we can take a look at the product page right here uh, and this is this is it right so you get a line of text right here okay so you can put that in and um, if there's variance uh, you can put them in as well okay so you got your option and then the uh, what kind of variant it is okay so you can just um, maybe like black blue you can put that in right so one thing that they don't have is also uh, variants of different prices so that's something that uh, like funnels does not have so something to take note of uh, and then you can add text to the product so that uh, when you set up your discounts it's easier to um, tag those discounts to these products so you can put in the features in here so this is how the uh, you know the page looks like so you have your uh, feature section right in here right right you can you know charge on Nintendo Switch and you can put your uh, an icon or whatever in here as well and uh, you've got testimonial so you got your testimonial section right here which is a slider right okay so you can put that in here um, right and uh, we've got your FAQ section so if you, if you scroll down here you got your FAQ section right here okay 
right and um, let's jump over to the product page so you can create a uh, custom product page um, but um, I prefer to do that in the uh, funnel pages but you know let's just click on it and uh, take a look at it right so this is the custom product page so basically right now we are in the uh, page builder right here so they've got a sticky um, bar right here which is awesome because you know whenever you're ready to buy you're scrolling you're reading okay I'm ready to buy I just click on the buy now button you know just choose the quantity and buy now right okay so you've got your countdown uh, timer um, and if you want to set up your own pages you can do so as well right so they've got some of these uh, you know hero sections and stuff like that that uh, you can just easily pull it in and make use of it right so um, let's say if you want to have this testimonial section for example uh, let's say you don't want you don't want this testimonial section you can remove that and put in this entire testimonial section in for yourself right so let's say we'll use this one and then you know it's being added right okay so this uh so so the sections are you know they've got a ton of stuff right here so one thing that i do like about like funnels so far is that uh they do have quite a bit of of uh, templates right here right because you've got a lot of uh, sections and they just you know it's 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 likely that you are going to find a template that could already work for you right feature section right and you can use them for like digital products as well right? I can see that right so you can just add them in or you can just add individual elements as well so they've got a lot of stuff here um, text headings list list items uh, image videos buttons checkbox link what is link so let's check it out okay so it's just it's just a, a, a you know a text icon a text uh, block that is hyperlinked right block link let's check it out Let, let's try it again block link okay let me undo this um, maybe we'll jump over here so this makes it easier let's try block link okay so block link seems to you know take up an entire it's a entire container that is clickable I guess right and then you've got input which is a single fill I guess right this is a text uh, fill and then you've got check boxes you got selector okay so it's like a drop down and text area label these are meant for your forms basically right creating your forms uh, right review what is this so this is a button okay for you to add your review so that's nice um, this will be good for maybe your thank you pages right or you can just uh, you know create a separate thank you page and uh, add that in right uh, for your product reviews right file input star selector okay and then layouts miscellaneous like your currency converter so we have one right here right currency converter accordions right so this will be good for your FAQ section right carousels pop-ups sticky so we've got a sticky right here so um, I guess we can put a sticky okay it's overlapping Okay, masonry we can we can add that as well uh widgets so we can embed widgets in here so that's uh so adding you know custom html so you can do that as well and repeater as well right okay so a lot of features uh you know elements that you can add in okay 
and let's jump into some of this right so for example uh, with the uh, countdown uh, so this is like the countdown timer right here so you can choose between evergreen or just uh, you know a, a straightforward countdown timer that works for everyone so evergreen would be that anyone who comes to this page uh, will see this timer uh, and it's being to their cookie so that means if i if if i have one hour left right and it's an evergreen timer what happens is that if i come in i see one hour 30 minutes later i come back to this page i will see 30 minutes left right so that's uh your evergreen uh countdown timer okay and uh and all the elements has conditional uh display as well so you can you know display uh you know you can set that up uh let's okay so um i think so this is and you can design it right for mobile um for that uh, uh what do you call that a uh, tablet as well so right so they've got conditional display based on devices as well so you can set that up as well so that's a good uh, you know option to have and uh, but what I think about the countdown timer is that uh, it doesn't have a redirect for the uh, countdown right so that means what happens is that if the countdown timer ends Right, the countdown ends, the sale is over, I'm being redirected somewhere else. Right, so that's not uh, available uh, yet. So that is currently on the roadmap from what I know. Right, so evergreen and then where you want a sticky buy button. So that's the one that uh, you see on the page. This one right here, sticky buy button. Right, and then you can also create your own custom checkout page. Okay, um, I will um so this is the custom checkout page so we can take a look at the page right here so this is the default checkout page right so uh they have um i think it's in a way quite optimized right here for the form and uh it, it feels like an e-commerce uh based kind of kind of uh, store right this checkout page right here and while at the same time there is order bumps and stuff like that which is uh, actu actually um, I kind of like it for e-commerce solution right e-commerce store kind of solution uh, for light funnels um, let's jump back in here again and you can add upsell products and you can create custom upsell pages and downsells and custom downsell pages as well as thank you pages so you can set set up your thank you pages right so you have your social share which is which is great right i think this 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 idea that they have is is quite complete um and then we'll jump into funnels uh, next okay so sorry there's reviews as well so if you get new reviews you can um, you know you can see what's going on as well and you can also import reviews from Aliexpress uh, and then this would be my funnel so uh, so this is my funnel so when it comes to the funnel itself uh, when you are creating the funnel uh, let me just create a new funnel to just show you what's happening so let's say I will to uh, you know sell a uh, kitchen I think this one is pretty nice so let's so uh, so what happens is that uh, where light funnels is amazing is the uh, it 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 doesn't just you know um design a a page for you you know like you choose a page template something like that but it gives you the entire funnel that is 
already uh, templated and designed for you right so you got your product page right here you got your checkout page right here and everything it's already um, set up as a whole right so you know when you you, you got the same color scheme throughout the entire funnel you got your checkout page you got your thank you page you got your upsell page you got your downsell page right you got your squeeze page right and you got your article page as well so you can have a article page just um, talking about all this uh, stuff and then you can have you, you can then you know send them to a squeeze page to capture their information then uh, to the sales page they call it the product page I call it the sales page right so this is the sales page uh, and then you go to the checkout and then if there's any upsells and any downsells and then to the, the the thank you page so everything is all done for you okay so the reason why they place it right like this right here is because uh, it's based on priorities right so most people just have a product page then the checkout page then the thank you page okay so and then uh, if they want to upsell stuff they will have a upsell and downsell page and then if you want to capture leads up front you have the squeeze and article page so it's all done nicely um, which I, I kind of like um, the idea right here right so um, and when I select this template okay it would ask me right definitely you know when we have uh, okay so and, and it and it, it, it is very um, modular it's kind of modular is that let's say I am just using light funnels for capturing leads then I can just click on collect leads but if I want to sell as well uh, then I can check the sell checkbox and uh, you know it it is it is simple for a um, brand new digital marketer who does not know anything about funnels to know what they need right because uh, like funnels has already predefined them for you so if you want to collect leads then you know you want to have a squeeze page then the thank you page and that's all you need right because uh, you collect the information and then you thank them that's it but if you want to sell products then you want to have the product page because you got to tell people what this product is you got to sell them on on uh, why they need the product itself then send when they are ready to buy send them to the checkout page then the thank you page right so once they pay thank you bye bye that's it and then uh, but if you want to also upsell something they, you know some you have a add-on right they want to sell then you have include a upsell and if you want to downsell as well so if they say um, this upsell is too expensive then maybe you want to offer a downsell as well you can do so here right so uh, and then if you want to collect leads you can do so uh, you can just turn this on and then you got your squeeze page right in front right and uh, create my funnel and you know you will get have all the uh, funnel pages created so I selected everything so I've got an article page squeeze page product page checkout page upsell page downsell page thank you page right and you the way that the um, one thing that I like uh, firstly in the funnel builder right here is the way that light funnels has displayed this uh, because um, it seems like they kind of took uh, the uh, user interface idea from many chat right uh, where you have um, your links in here right so you got your links in here and it becomes a uh, you know like a connector right so you could connect this to a different page something like that okay and uh, every page is you know you can move it around it's it's a very free from uh, flow builder kind of like uh, it's, it's very similar to 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 many chat I would say right and then you got so this so, so what happens is that when you have some connectors right here you've got a button here that says buy now you got to connect them to somewhere you send them to the product page then from the product page to the sales the the checkout page then from the checkout page to the upsell page then uh, if they uh, you know uh, you know decline the the uh, 
so let's say this because this upsell page does not have a no thanks right so if I add uh, a button that says no thanks right and I say okay so this is I'm, I'm going to take them to the downsell page okay and what's going to happen is that now I have a another um, option right here that is connected to the downsell page right so uh, so what happens is let me just kind of format the uh, okay this squeeze page is actually sending to the wrong place I've got to send them here okay so this is kind of how it looks like. You got your fun, uh, your squeeze page to the checkout page, and then to the upsell page. And if they decline, it goes to the downsell first. Okay, so let's let's put this here, and then to the thank you page right here, like this. Okay, so this is the entire funnel just to give you a better idea. So you can have article page sending people to the product page or you are running ads. So let's say you are running, you know, some kind of, uh, uh, you, you can run ads to your squeeze page and quickly push them into the product page or you can send traffic to the article page where you give some um, ideas about uh, give some insights about the products first, then send them to the product page, right? So there's two options for you. And this is the entire funnel right here. Very nicely uh, done. Uh, and if you want to add more, um, I think you can do so as well. Right. And uh, okay, so you can set the overall funnel styles. And these are all your generic pages as well. And, and that's uh, about it. Okay, so I can create uh, like more pages um, if I want to. Just click on the plus and then I can create more upsells if I want to. So let's say I have another upsell page. Right. So we're going to move this thank you page right here. So if they say um, yes, add to my order, I will send them here instead. Okay. So the express is going to always you know take them to the uh, thank you page where they skip all the upsells right so we just take them to the uh, upsell page first so this is um, upsell uh, 2 right and then we can have another downsell right here okay it's still building the page okay so it's out here and then I can have a uh, sorry, this is this is the correct one. This is the down sell, and then if there's a no button, right? Then we can link this right here, and if they want to add or order, we'll link them here, and link them here like this. Okay, and then this one will come here. So I think that this is great for a funnel builder. This is like the the entire selling point that i feel for for light funnels is this right here because just building a funnel uh with light funnels just uh saves you a lot of time right here okay and you've got your generic pages if you need them right just everything is all uh in here and uh i think pretty much uh let's let's take a look at what else there is right here Okay, and then you've got your orders, right? So when you receive orders, it's going to be in here. And any abandoned checkouts will be in here as well. And uh, analytics, so this is your dashboard as well. Same as your home, similar to your home page. And you've got a live view, right? So if you're running traffic big time coming in, you can see an entire globe of where people are coming from. It's, um, I feel that this, this is nice. Um, but uh, I kind of feel like it's a, a, a small little gimmick <laughs> right here. Uh, but uh, it is still, uh, you know, useful, right? I mean, 
there's some kind of interactivity right here which makes it makes makes it more interesting as to uh how your funnels are are, are running okay and then all all the contacts uh information are in here people who purchase anything people who uh you know opt in right you capture that information they'll all be in here and uh, if you want you can create certain segments of people who purchase certain products or collected uh, certain leads from certain uh, funnels and lastly you've got discounts right here so discounts would is um, very simple it, I think it's pretty much like uh, WooCommerce right here right the, the discount functions you just enter a code you can choose between a percentage discount or a fixed discount okay and what's the value in dollars or in uh percentage and then you can set the start date and end date and the limit of the discount okay and one time usage per user and you can apply this discount to uh all products or selected tags or selected products as well right so that's going to uh, apply to a certain group of products only okay so um um i think i think the discount function seems to work well uh i don't i don't really have much uh requests as well uh let me just see what else could be improved on the discount uh oh um yep so one thing for light funnels is the one thing that i realized is that they don't have a shipping um, option right so that means when you sell uh you got to build in the shipping fee into the product itself okay so something to take note of uh at the moment with light funnels okay so you got to you know say that it's free shipping or something like that so there's no shipping uh option uh in like funnel so you can charge a uh, shipping fee so if you buy let's say uh, five units it's going to be five dollars you buy one unit the uh, shipping fee is also five dollars right so you can set something like that up uh, so if they add shipping then you know your discount would then have to be able to uh, have discount on shipping all right that means uh, sorry not discount on shipping but free shipping right uh, disc uh, discount codes as well Okay, so lastly, um, I think that of course you know their their integrations are quite early at this at the moment. My thoughts on like funnels is that it is a brilliant tool for one of products. So if you sell um, products that don't require a subscription uh you're not selling a high value product right now uh then light funnels would work for you but of course those kind of features are going to come later in the roadmap uh where light funnels uh i think that light funnels should also look into a deeper integration with shopify with woocommerce as well by having some kind of uh by being able to pull in products right you pull in products you pull in the product images and it's already uploaded into your media library and it's added into the funnel uh funnels uh, themselves right just fill up the entire uh page and just tell us that okay we'll just need to change this change that and you know it's going to save us a lot of time right and possibly as well is to have uh, a background uh, removal right background because we are dealing with physical products right here and uh, having a background removal uh, so that we can add that product image into the uh, funnel uh, pages right where it has some kind of background okay then it will sit very nicely with the background right for the product itself so um, those are my thoughts uh you know uh, being able to pull in products import products at least uh is going to save me a lot of time rather than creating a, uh, a product over and over again in light funnels uh that's going to be very tedious so 
uh, for example, my store has a couple of hundreds of products. So, you know, trying to do that in Light Funnels, uh, you know, creating all from scratch is going to take me a lot of time. So, importing is definitely, I would say, a must have. And uh, shipping, I would say, uh, because for certain products that may be too cheap, then charging a shipping fee is uh, important. Uh, also, um, if, in fact, for drop shippers, uh, you know the uh, free plus shipping method also is very important right so free free plus shipping so if you buy one your shipping fee of seven dollars something like that so you're selling something really cheap uh, you know free plus shipping so you got to have shipping options in light funnels as well uh, otherwise uh, you know split payments so that we can do higher value products um, subscription products as well Mm, otherwise, um, you know, having uh, Public Connect integration would be awesome uh, for now. And then having more uh, email marketing tools integrated into Light Funnels uh, would be awesome. So that's all I have to share about Light Funnels. I think that Light Funnels uh, is a great solution for one of products right now and it's, it's just going to save you a lot of time especially when you are testing out uh, products and see if they work and uh, I think light funnels will be an awesome tool for that so that's all I have if you enjoyed this uh, review I know it's taking uh, it's been about 40 over minutes right now uh, this is one of my longer videos because we are talking about funnel builder right here right there's a lot of things that that we got to cover uh, but if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about like funnels in the comments below. Let me know if you got to buy it as well, right? Because um, I am definitely keeping like funnels for myself. And uh, uh, um, lastly, um, if you know anyone who sells, uh, you know, one-off items, digital or physical itself. Uh, do share this video with them of course if they are willing to wait for more features to come along uh, on like funnels uh, then I think it will benef benefit them as well right and that's all I have to share um, let me know what you th uh, and let me know what you think in the comments right I'll see you in my next video bye bye